Hey you guys, so tonight, what a surprise, we're gonna be making tacos. Y'all know, I love tacos, I eat tacos weekly. So, um, you guys have seen me make the fish tacos in my vlog, but I've never really shown you how I make it. And tonight, I'm going to be doing blackened catfish tacos, okay? So let's get started with the ingredients because we have a lot going on here. We have salt, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, cumin, oregano, cinnamon. I know, cinnamon is a spicy, y'all. It's, it's actually a heat um, and it's often used in a lot of Mexican dishes. So a little bit of cinnamon, some black pepper. I do have some blackened season over here in the corner that I'm gonna take out. I have some chipotle and chipotle pepper sauce. I have some sour cream, salsa, some jalapenos. These are my condiments. Radishes are also gonna be part of the condiments. Now I'm gonna be making a corn salsa. Now I picked up a can of roasted corn salsa. I could only find this at Walmart. I made um, some tacos a couple of days ago, black bean and corn tacos, and I reserved half the can for some corn salsa. I have some cabbage back here, tri-colored cabbage. And then as far as veggies, I have tomatoes, excuse the background, three aroma tomatoes, some cilantro, lime, jalapeno, yellow onion. Typically, we, you would use purple onion, red onion, yellow onion though. I have some corn tortillas and two huge fillets of catfish. I'm gonna find my blackened season, seasoning and I'm gonna be blackening my catfish in a cast iron skillet with some olive oil. I'm gonna blacken this whole and then cut it up for the actual tacos, okay? All right, you guys, so I'm gonna put some cabbage here in the bowl, and what I'm gonna do is, I mean, you could do this several ways. You could, um, several ways. You could marinate your fish in the chipotle. You could combine the chipotle with the sour cream, which I've done before, or you could do what I'm gonna do tonight, because I don't wanna do all that. I'm gonna soak some of the chipotle and the sour cream and put it directly into my slaw here. One thing I will say, if you decide to marinate your um, fish, don't do it too long because what you wanna do is add some cilantro and lime, but you don't wanna marinate it too long because the acidic, the acid and the lime is gonna break down that fish you don't want it falling apart. Catfish is a very sturdy fish, but still, you don't want it falling apart, okay? Now, I really want some of the juice, but if some, I really want the juice, but if some of the peppers come out, that's okay. And you know what, I think these are pieces. I'm gonna take a squirt of half a lime here. To help it to move around a little bit. Don't be too loud. Want some more juice? No. All right, so next up, I'm gonna be doing the corn salsa. Now, I'm going to start with the onion first. Let me wash off my board. So, I like to start with the onion to go ahead and get that out of the way. Um, we don't like a lot of onion, and it's just for my husband and I, so this is going to be, I mean, eyeballing it, it looks about half a cup a chopped onion, may not even be that. Um, ah. Yeah, I have my nails back. The good thing about having nails is they kinda, it kinda is a barrier from actually cutting your fingers, but I also haven't had them in a while. So, um, yeah. All right, just like that, my onions are done. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my garlic. I recently started buying chopped garlic. Um, a lifesaver, y'all, I normally don't. I like chopping up my food. Depending on how spicy you like your food, we can handle spice. Three slices of fresh jalapeno. Now I have about a can of roasted corn. You could use regular frozen corn. Fresh corn is even better. Um, I love this roasted corn. Again, this is 
canned roasted corn that I can only find at Walmart canned, but I've seen roasted corn at Whole Foods. I'm not even gonna add all that, you guys, because I have tomatoes to add. Um, I've seen this corn in the frozen section at Whole Foods at Trader Joe's, um, but canned, I've only found it at Walmart. All right, so tomatoes can tend to be a little runny. You don't want this salsa too liquidy, so what you're gonna have to do is spoon out the middle. I know y'all. I have a spoon here. Um, and what you want is just this to slice up, and I'll do one for you real quick. Okay. I'm not done recording, baby. And that's what you want the tomato to roughly look like. So my condiments have all been laid out and made. I put up some more tomatoes, some radishes. I have some cilantro here. Um, a tip. While you're cooking, fix your family some snacks, girl. That way you can look. I thoroughly enjoy cooking, so I want to take my time. I don't need no one in my kitchen rubbing their belly, looking at my pots and pans, wondering when the food's going to be done. Or hell, if you don't want to do that, you know, just throw them a bag of chips so that you can take your time when cooking. All right, y'all, so let me hush it. I'm gonna go ahead and season up my catfish. Now, the catfish, I'm gonna add a little bit of cumin, a little bit of cinnamon, um, some salt, a little bit of sea salt, and I found my blackening seasoning. Um, there's blackening seasoning, there's Creole seasoning. All it is is cayenne pepper, paprika, black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, but because I'm greedy, greedy I like to add that and then add some more. <laughs> And then um, I decided not to use the oregano, okay? And I'm gonna do a little bit of chili powder. Those are all my seasonings. I'm not going to use as much of all the other seasonings um, because again, blackness seasonings tend to have all of these, but I like my food thoroughly seasoned. Now I'm getting ready to season up my fish. Another word of advice when you're dealing with raw meat, I'm very, very picky when it comes to, not picky, I'm very careful. I try to be very careful when, you deal, when I'm dealing with raw meat. You wanna have one wet hand, one dry hand. What does that mean, girl? One wet hand is when you wanna touch the food. One dry hand is when you wanna touch anything dry. Basically a meat hand, non-meat hand, especially when you're breading food, if you're frying food. One wet hand, one dry hand. Now, I'm not gonna touch this fish at all. I'm gonna use my tongs to flip it over okay so just a little bit of advice um i'm going to start off with the blackening seasoning because i want to see typically when you are using if you're going to blacken fish and i'm pretty sure most y'all know this but now most of my subscribers are from the south um you want to cover the food uh, the meat excuse me with the blackening seasoning because i have so many i'm not going to start off with that i may you know i'm going to layer on the seasonings that's my garlic powder onion powder i'm going to do a little bit of chili powder that's a little bit a little bit of cinnamon like literally a little bit i'm not gonna do any cumin actually um so i'm gonna add just a little bit of salt and i'm not gonna even i'm not adding any on the other side okay okay so i'm flipping it over with these tongs yes ma'am I heard you what you say. What, 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 what did I say? I'm giving you a plant, so I want to find the chicken You, you dang on right. You're right. That's exactly what I said. Two tablespoons of olive oil in the cast iron skillet. Fillets going in on medium high heat. Depending on the thickness of your fillets would depend on how quick they were cooked. As you can see, I had some tortillas on a back burner there. Do not warm it up in the microwave. It makes a big difference. So now I am assembling my tacos. 
Uh, two fillets could feed three pe people, but my husband is greedy, so it fed two of us. So right now, just I'm um, dividing up the fillets. I kept the tortillas warm by placing them in some foil paper, just breaking up the meat and assembling my tacos, y'all. This was so good. Putting on the slaw. I left the slaw in the corn in the fridge until the fish was done, and it allowed everything to basically come together and marinate. Putting on the corn salsa there. And here are my finished tacos. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment, like, subscribe, share. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.